everyone calls it, they call it stomach pain. But the stomach is just one organ in your abdomen. So what's, let's go through what may be going on. You all raise your hand. Anyone want to come up here and help me out with a little demonstration? Come on up. <laughs> What's your name? Hi, Carol. Carol, come on over here. Let's start off at our magic wall. I'm going to have you flank me here because have you ever thought about pain in here and thought, oh, I have stomach pain? I get stomach pains all the time. I'm like lactose intolerant. So I suffer for, it could go on for like a good hour, but it's like labor. And then finally, you know, when you go to the bathroom, it's like. But at least you know <laughs> what's causing it. And yeah. that's what so many people don't understand. Because mm -hmm. when you talk about what's going on in your abdomen, it's not just one organ. You've got your stomach there, your pancreas, your appendix, your kidneys, your gallbladder, your colon. And these things can all potentially be a part of the problem. So what I'd love to do, if you're willing, is kind of go through some of the various presentations of abdominal pain. OK. Now, have you ever had appendicitis? Do you still have your appendix? No, yes, I do. OK. Your appendix is essentially an appendage. And it's right off of your colon in the right lower quadrant of your abdomen. And when it becomes infected, sadly, it needs to come out. If you ignore it, within 24, 48 hours, that appendix can rupture, create real problems. So if you have unique pain in your right lower quadrant, worth getting it checked out. Now, stomach pain. Carol, what, what people don't realize is that so often when we have discomfort, mm -hmm. it may be coming from our stomach. Something called gastritis, where the lining of the stomach becomes inflamed and angry. Right. But also, you can develop full-on ulcers in your stomach when that mucosa, that mucosal lining breaks down, mm -hmm. and that acidity is basically up against the wall of your stomach. That causes a lot of pain and can cause ulcers. Right. Have you ever held a stomach? No. Come over to my little display over here. I want you to take a look <laughs> at this stomach, if you're willing. Oh, yes. Put your gloves on. Okay. I hope I don't drop we don't. It. We have not <laughs> ever displayed a stomach on the show before. Okay. So this is oh. a stomach that is cut open, right? Esophagus, food comes down wow. into, into the stomach. Feel that. Oh, what does yeah. that feel like? Fat, like, like rubber. Rubbery, right? Yeah, yeah. Because this is, you know, th that's what the, the stomach is supposed to protect itself from all the acidity, et cetera. So this stomach can cause a lot of problems, particularly if you're, if you're someone who has a history of just recurring central abdominal pain. Let me move on because the stomach certainly is located here, but other organs penetrate that area as well. Gallbladder. Gallbladder lives in your right upper quadrant, right up underneath your rib cage here. Okay. Very common in women as they get to be of childbearing age, they, they can actually develop gallstones. And what happens is if you get gallstones and one of these gallstones gets caught in the duct, mm -hmm. that can cause a great deal of pain. It can even pain, be pain that radiates up to your right shoulder. That can end up being something called cholecystitis, which is an infection of your gallbladder, right. which can continue to cause other problems. Now, let's move along the abdomen here. Pancreas. The pancreas actually lives right behind the stomach. And so what often happens is people will come into the emergency department and they've got pain right in this area and they'll just point to this area and they'll say, oh, it just really hurts here. So I'm thinking, well, the stomach lives there. Just beyond the stomach is the pancreas. But what's interesting, if you develop pancreatitis, which is a very serious illness, major causes can be alcohol. You can get what's called gallstone pancreatitis. A lot of times people will say, well, the pain radiates to my back. And it'll often be associated with nausea and vomiting. People are unable to keep fluids down. So people who have issues with, with alcohol, certainly they come in with pain here. I worry about pancreatitis. 